Hi everyone, this is Professor Smith, and we're going to continue on with our study of measures of central tendency by looking at the median and the mode. These are two of the other most common numbers that we use to summarize a data set. The median is simply the midpoint value of a data set. So again, let's learn by looking at a very simple data set. How about a data set with three, three data points, and the values are three, four, and five. Let me just take off that formatting. Okay, so the midpoint, if I simply look, the three, this is the smallest value. The five is the largest. Okay, so that's going to make four the midpoint. So in this simple data set, the median is just four. Now, let's take a look at this data set. I'm going to stick with the three and the four. But now I'm going to make the third data value be 50 instead of the five. Now, if this were the mean, that 50 would cause the mean to change by a lot because that 50 is an outlier. Let's find the median, though. Three is still the smallest. 50 is still the largest. Four is that midpoint. So even though I changed the third data value to 50, the median is still just four. That means the median is not sensitive to outliers. It's a huge real world thing to know when it comes to which one do I actually use, the mean or the median. If I want my metric to be uh, include all the outliers, then I would go for the mean. If I do not want that to happen, I'm going to go for the median. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of other ones. Now, this idea of finding the midpoint, if you think about it, it's easiest when you have an odd number of values. Let's take a look at an example where you have an even number. Let's do, how about, three, four, five, and 50. Okay, so once again, this is the smallest value, three. Largest value is 50. And now I've got these two candidate numbers. Typically what you do in that scenario is you simply take the average or the midpoint of those two numbers in the middle. Okay, so if I took an average of four and five, I'm gonna get 4.5. That's usually the most common way that we come up with the median when you have an even number of values. Now, just a couple of other things about the median. In real life, you're not always going to have a data set that is sorted for you from the smallest to the largest values. You have to do that yourself or using your statistical tool of choice. All right, so here's an example of that. Let's suppose the data set were 5, 12, and minus six. Okay, so what's the median in this example? I still want to identify which data point is largest and smallest. So it looks like to me the 12 is the largest, the minus six is the smallest, and that makes again the five, that's the midpoint, the median in this example would be five. Okay, let's focus with a slightly larger data set, but still pretty small. Let's just make up some numbers here. How about five, 21, zero, 16, 34, 14, and 10. Now, typically when you have a data set like this, what you might want to do is kind of create a little ranking system. So for example, if I were to rank these where let's say I let one be the smallest value, okay, I can then say that zero, right, it looks like the zero point is the, the zero value is the smallest. So I'm going to call that a one. 
Okay, what's my next smallest? Looks like it's the five. Let's call that two for the second smallest. Looks like my third smallest is the 10. So I'm gonna give that a three. Looks like the fourth smallest is the 14. All right, then this would be the fifth. And this would be the sixth. And then my largest value is the 34. Okay, now the beauty of doing it this way is I can clearly see that I have seven data points. I want the middle value. So out of the one out of the seven data points, the one with the four rank is going to be the midpoint. Okay, so in this case, the median would be 14. Because once again, it's the, the midpoint value. Okay, now for the quiz, what I want you guys to do, this is a slightly different set of incomes. Pause the video as you need to answer the quiz and find the median of this data set. Now, our final measure of central tendency is what we call the mode. And this one's pretty straightforward. The mode is just the most frequently occurring value in a data set. Okay, again, let's start really simple. How about one, five, six, five? And if you were asked for the mode, okay, simply go through the data values and ask yourself how many times is it occurring? All right, the one occurs once. There's only one one. The five, here's a data point with a value of five. Here's another data point with the value of five. The five occurs twice. The six, there's only one data point with the value of six. It occurs once. Okay, since the five occurs more than any other value, the mode in this data set is simply five. Okay, let's take a look at this one. One, two, and three, the world's simplest data set. Okay, what's the mode? Okay, let's go through the practice. You guys might see it already. The one occurs once. The value two occurs once. And the value three occurs once. Now, this is kind of a trick question. Let's go back and look at the definition again the most frequently occurring value. Since in this data set, there is no most frequently, they all occur with equal frequency, we actually say that there is no mode. It's just literally just undefined for this data set. Okay, let's take a look at one more. Okay, suppose we have the values one, four, three, nine, four, uh, let's do five, nine. And we want to figure out the mode of this data set. Okay, so just, just for a little sake of time here, we can see that the one, the three, and the five all occur once. There's only one data point with those three values, respectively. The four occurs at this data point and also this one. So the four occurs twice. And the nine also occurs twice. Okay, so in this case, we actually have two modes. So the four and the nine are both the modes in this example, and this is what we call bimodal. Okay, you could have multimodal data sets with three modes, and that's what we call uh, trimodal, and so on and so forth. Okay, so again, just to kind of recap all this, what which metric you would use, mean, median, mode, it really kind of depends on what, sometimes you report all three, 
Other times, it's just whatever is most relevant to you. Do you want to exclude the outliers? Then you choose the median. Do you just want to know what is most frequent in the data set? Then you're going to look at the mode. Do you want an average value that, that incorporates all the values of the data set equally? Then you want the mean, okay? So the last thing you guys are going to do for this quiz, here is a data set where I've taken, it looks like 25 people and they've been surveyed for how many years they've been in school. And I want you guys to find out and answer what is the mode of that data set. Pause the video as you need, review as much as you need also, and I will see you guys next time.